Hello everyone, in the last video we ended up doing the placement of the pieces based on the rules of the game so right now we're going to code the player and also the turns because this game needs two players so let's go here in the public folder I'm going to add a new file I'm going to create the player.js class I already created it so I'm going to copy a simple p a simple class, sorry. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to put the name of the class. So we need a color for the player. Is the color of the pieces that he has? Uh, we don't need diameter. I think we don't need x and y yet. At least we need, we need an ID because we need to identify it some way which player has the turn so let's put this id equals id and let's use the color this that color equals color okay and also i think that he needs uh, he needs an array of pieces let's put it like this first and i think right now we don't need the show function and also we should add a, an attribute that is has turn to know if he has a turn let's put a false for now and let me has turn equals oh well we are going to receive as parameter let's go to the index.html and let's put here sorry Let's put let's put in here the reference to argument class. So it is player that yes. Okay, we have it there. So what would what do we need for the game? Okay, we need first of all a uh, player one, for example. So we are going to create a new player. So the first player has these attributes, the ID is zero the color is yellow and the hazard is equals to true actually because it's the one that starts the game and then the player 2 and he's going to have a some red uh, color pieces and also for now let's add empty arrays So let's see. Okay, so basically, we need uh, that to generate the pieces for the for the player, and that the player can see it in the screen and also it starts moving. So let's just start with player one. So for example, first of all, we need actually to create a, to create a piece. So in this case I'm going to put it here and I'm going to change some th some things. For example, here instead of piece I'm going to use the player piece. So we could do something like this. Actually let me remove this. So we need something like get curtain piece that show, right? So what we can do is to render the current piece of the player one, but we need to call this function. So we're going to do a get current piece. So we put this make a function and what we need is to do a return of these that pieces that pop in this way we're going to get the piece so let's see how this works and also well, I'm going 
need to do something here. going to put my piece equals to the player get current piece and keep using this parameter so I won't be I won't have to do a lot of rewriting so let's see here okay it's not working, let's see what the console says. It says cannot read property show up undefined. So something is wrong here. Playing one get current piece is not working, is is giving undefined. So let's see. Okay. Here I needed to add the pieces equals to empty array. And these that pieces equal to these pieces okay still saying that cannot read properly show up on the fine so I'm going to troubleshoot this so I found the error and it was that for example the get current piece function was doing a pop of the actual array so it was deleting the last element so I needed to create a copy and then return the last one of that copy uh, also something that I'm doing wrong right now is that here <laughs> I need to put it, put this color which is yellow I think in the current piece so if I so right now we have the player there so for the player number two we will do the same but right now I only have one piece for for each of these um, for each of, for each of these players sorry for the player one so I'm going to create a function that introduce as much as it can pieces of to each player so I will need that here in the setup so give pieces and I will do it with player one and give pieces to the player two. So how do know, how do I know how many pieces I need? Basically, the maximum of pieces are forty nine in this case. So I'm going to give forty nine to each one even though that's not true because they can only use half but for now I won't enter in details so I will do this and I will code this function so here we have the the functionality basically I created player 1, player 2 and I'm going to change here they have different color of pieces the turn begins with the player 1 and I, get, I made the function give pieces which creates an array of the amount, in, in this case it's 49 and then each number from 0 to 49 uh, we are going to do the map function and convert, convert that number into a new piece so this is the function that is doing this but okay, it seems it's working, I'm having now the current piece but we need to do the uh, the turns so for example if I put this one here I need to generate a new one but for the player number um, two right so here at the right I'm going to create a text to see which player has the turn at this moment so I made here a small change uh, I am using the function text from pig5.js you can see how how this works in other of my previous videos so right now I'm creating a text and I'm just uh, printing player and the player ID in this case just the player one I'm going to put it here because I don't want to expend too much time doing this I want to continue with the video so right now we have something to visualize what player do we have okay but now we need to keep 
changing from player, right? So what are we going to do is create create a current player, which is the player who has the turn. This moment will be set to null, and here at the setup of the game, we are going to see that current player is equals to player one, right? Also, we can do something more useful and is in a function called define current player right and we can send by parameter two players in this case player one and player two and define which one is the current right so I'm going to do this so this is as simple as this function define current player if player one has the turn we return player one if not player two so what we need to do is right now change all the pace the the places where it appears player one to current player. I'm going to do that and pause the video. And now we need uh, to change turns, right? So basically, what we are going to do is here, and for example, put current player punto has turn equals to false. After doing that, we need to keep updating the player, right? So in the show function, before getting the current player, current please, we need also this. Actually, I could remove this from here and put it here. So this works in some way. For example, if I go here, now I change. And after that, this doesn't change. The player one keeps a keeps appearing so what we need to do for now I don't like this solution but for now we are going to do it we need to put the player one that has turns as true just for now to see the change okay that is not working actually let's see why so this is a solution for this right now what I'm doing is to ask if the current player is the player 2 if that's true I'm going to uh, put the player 1 that has thrown as true I'm going to refactor this later but right now I don't have the time because I don't really like this solution but as you can see here it is working so in the next video what we are going to do is to do the logic to see when a player has win and then we are going to start with the socket IO to do the, the, the game in, in web so basically thanks a lot for watching please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel and see you later